It's been nice having you around, Cassandra. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this. Just you and There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in the year. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. Let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? <laughs> the merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision-making to you. Troublemaker. Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. This woman is a single mother who runs her own farm. She likes her wine strong. <laughs> you know me too well. Strong wine is the best wine. Where apaton thalas and andlis? Smells so delicious, my mouth is watering. Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow cooked goat stew. 
Oh, decisions, decisions. The chicken with vegetables sounds nice. This will be tasty, I'm sure. I only wish it came with olives. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how much I needed this. Welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. The pears sound delicious. Homer called them gifts from the gods, but it's the honey that makes them truly divine. This was lovely. Tonight was almost perfect. Almost? There was just one thing missing. Mater! Mater! You're not going to believe it! What is it, Arion? Bandits attacked the house! But I found one of Pater's old swords and did everything Cassandra taught me! And I scared them away because I'm a warrior like the mighty Eagle Bearer! That's incredible, Arion! You... I hate to say I told you so. Don't lie to me. You love to say I told you so. <laughs> you always did. The boy defended what's his. You should be proud of him. I am. I am. But? Cassandra, there is something I need to tell you. Anything? Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped you were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. Oh, nice. Please let me finish. The fact you taught Arion to fight, when I explicitly asked you not to, shows me you're not the partner I'm looking for. But he fought off those bandits. He could have been injured or worse. I understand. And it's okay. You felt you knew what was better for my son. And maybe you're right. But I'm looking for someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I love you. I've always loved you. I know. And I loved you, too. But I think it would be best if Arion and I moved on with our lives, stopped living in the past and started building our future. Parting as friends, then? Of course. We will always be friends. Say goodbye to Arion for me. I will, Eagle Bearer. 